Hey, how's everybody doing? We're back at a strip mall here in uh, East County, San Diego. And this is a mall, for those of you that have been on this channel, this is the mall that I came to last year. There's only five businesses or five empty places where businesses used to be. And last year, if you remember, I was showing this as an example about how, where is the economic recovery, right? This used to be full of businesses for 2020. Came back here, uh, 2021, it was a fly buzzing around, and uh, was asking with the question, where's the recovery? All these businesses are gone. These were all small businesses. None of these were multinational mega corporations. And if you look behind me, you're gonna see vacancies. And we're gonna walk around and we're gonna show you late 2022 that these are still vacant. Uh, here's number two, vacant. There's a bee, is it a bee or a fly trying to get me? Uh, here was a, it looks like a Mex Mexican restaurant. Vacant, empty. Next. Uh, I don't know what this was. I'm going to show you the sign though. Vacant, empty. That's four. There's only five total. And number five. Available, vacant. And this parking lot has attracted vehicles like this. <laughs> There's nobody in it, thank goodness. I thought somebody was going to be sitting in there. Somebody's popping a wheelie. Can we get it? Motorcycle popping a wheelie. Now let's go over here and show you the gas price. Some California gas prices. All right, we're coming up on our gas price here. And can you see it? That is $6.50. $6.49 and 9 tenths. They want to trick you. They put that 9 tenths in there. Put it one tenth of a penny <laughs> below $6.50. I uh, wonder how many extra people they get to buy gas because of that one tenth of a penny. All right, everybody, stay tuned for financial economic news. All right, here we are, folks, back in the studio. Thank you for coming back for another update to this channel. This is Bull Boom Bear Bust. My name is JJ. Let's get into some economic news. First, uh, what I do every day, my full-time job is, I'm actually working part-time, but my regular job outside of, I guess you could say YouTube's kind of a job, but Outside of, uh, outside of YouTube, my regular job is in the financial sector, and I actually talk to people every day about their finances. I won't name the institution, but it's an institution that most of you have probably heard of. And every day I talk to people about their finances. And um, I've noticed uh, a big uptick in people that are financially stressed, financially strapped, looking for ways to save. And uh, I think any of you, uh, I think all of us here uh, shouldn't be surprised by that. But it's interesting that we still see some talking heads out there, people in positions of authority trying to convince us that everything is fine, that everything's normal, that all we need to do is start looking for stocks that pay dividends. And that's going to help a little bit. Uh, a stock that pays a two, three, four, five percent dividend, that's great. If you can find anything above that, that's that's really good. But is that going to save us? No, not most of us. Uh, most people working multiple jobs, people working full-time, doing side hustles. Um, I am kind of doing a side hustle. YouTube is kind of a side hustle. Uh, it's a small income compared to other incomes that I have. I have investments. I still work. Um, I uh, create things and sell them online, th things I've talked about for a while. I think most of you know that. Um, but people are struggling and things are continuing to get worse. We just showed you the plaza there, the strip mall. Five out of five businesses gone. Those were small businesses. Two years later, where's the recovery? They haven't come back. If they haven't come back in the next in the last two years, you think they're going to come back in the next two years from today? Uh, is something magical going to happen that's going to make more people have more money in their pocket to go spend at these businesses? Or are things going to continue to get worse? Right, the savings rate for U.S. people, the people, uh, the money that people have in their accounts, their checking, their savings account, monthly disposable income has plunged to financial crisis levels. Um, maybe that's going to reverse next month. Maybe everyone will start getting uh, huge pay raises. Maybe the cost of living will come down. 
but I don't think so. And that's why I continue to tell everyone here, things are going to get worse. Continue for things, uh, prepare for things to get worse. And let's just take a look at some news here that further underpins what we've been talking about here for a long time. And uh, let's dissect some of this here. CNBC, Fed's preferred gauge shows inflation accelerated even more than expected. There it is again, more than expected in August. Who expected things to not accelerate? Uh, who expected things to start getting better? Uh, nobody here in this channel probably. Uh, CNBC again, unrelenting inflation is taking a toll, leaving more Americans living paycheck to paycheck. If it wasn't bad enough already, um, previous um, reports and data that we looked at analysis said it was about 70%. This here is saying 60% and they're saying it used to be closer to 50%. I think this is way off. Keep in mind, this is uh, CNBC mainstream. They're not going to report too much real news. I don't think they want to scare people. Uh, I think it's much worse than they're saying here. Um, a decline in some Google searches shows retail investors are leaving the markets. And there's these charts here that show in 2020 when people were losing their jobs and you know told to stay home and stuff like that. Um, a big spike up in searches for investing. Robinhood saw a big inflow of accounts, people looking to invest because they had money. Uh, some people were out of work and they had stimulus checks, extra money. They didn't have to pay their rents. Many pe millions of people didn't have to pay their mortgages. So naturally a big uptick in people looking to invest, right? Um, that has dropped off and now we're where we were before uh, the health crisis, right? So have people run out of money? Please let me know what you think. But uh, Searches for investing and uh, different keywords that they look at to analyze it, Tesla stock, uh, Apple stock, uh, Dow Jones, words like that. People have dropped out of uh, searching for those things, or at least it's back to pre-crisis level. Stocks and bonds are discounting for a disaster after the worst stretch for investors in 20 years. Uh, folks, we told you the stock market topped in January. Um, now we've got the meltdown over there in the UK where they had to re-implement their bond buying program because some of the pensions were going to be basically defaulting. Uh, without continuous stimulus, um, money creation, debt creation, uh, people spending money they don't have without that, uh, the economy is toast. And we've yet to see the worst of it, but we're going to see massive job losses, bankruptcies. Um, it's going to get really bad. We're just in the early stages right now. It's so early in the game. Most of the population has no clue what's headed for us, uh, down the road and, uh, hopefully not too far down the road, uh, considering the gas prices, uh, Dow Jones, worst September in 20 years, stocks plunge as bear market roars. That's Forbes. Uh, so it's all over the place now, right? There's no hiding it. Uh, everybody sees their monthly budget. They see that their dollar doesn't go where it used to go. In our last report, we talked about how ever since 1971, when the dollar got depegged from gold, inflation started going uh, rampant, prices started ramping up. Uh, we saw the emergence of bubbles, multiple bubbles, boom and bust cycles, and, uh, and prepare for prices to go up, the cost of living to get worse. We have a cost of living crisis, uh, energy bills, utilities. Uh, we have now, of course, several days ago, the Nord Stream pipeline, Headline here, European Union suspects sabotage in the Nord Stream pipeline. Who is behind it? I mean, maybe it matters to you, but the bottom line is to prepare. Um, things are going to get worse. Things are about ready to get a lot more expensive. I'm watching my spending. Um, a lot of people aren't. And, uh, you know, that's on them. But uh, you got to be prepared because when we see this thing get the worst it's going to be, I think most people are going to be shocked. Even myself, I think. When things get the, the worst that they're going to be before, maybe I'm mentally preparing myself for the worst, uh, but I see massive hunger, uh, massive, massive starvation, massive um, shortages, uh, big uptick in desperate people trying to take from you what you have. So uh, security preparedness is also very important. Um, depending on where you live, that may be more important than compared to other people, if you know what I mean. Uh, bad neighborhoods, good neighborhoods, but even uh, good people can turn bad after a few days without food. Uh, am I saying it's going to get that bad tomorrow? No, but uh, we're just in the early stages. I think before this is done, uh, a lot of you are going to be shocked at what we're going to see in this. Um, this is a financial crisis, uh, economic collapse like we've never seen before uh, in history. It's going to be way worse than 2008. 
it's going to be comparable to the Great Depression, actually probably worse than the Great Depression. In the Great Depression, more people were hands-on, more people knew how to do basic things like go out and hunt for their own food. Now without the plastic card uh, to swipe and uh, the shelves being stocked at their local grocery store, people have no idea how to just get a meal, most people. Um, so back then, more people were prepared, more people knew, knew how to farm, uh, were more self-sufficient. Uh, the cost of living wasn't nearly as bad, of course, as it was then. Now inflation is just rampant. We see uh, people can't even afford rent right now. We have all these uh, moratoriums still in place, supposedly the one in L.A. is going to be ending. How many more homeless city, uh, cities and tents are going to be popping up in L.A.? It's going to be even worse right now. It's already close to being a hellhole if you look at the beach there. Um, uh, Venice Beach, Venice Beach, massive problem with homelessness. Tents right along the beach there. You can see them from the water. Or you can see them from the beach, you know, where the water is. You can see them from the homes along the beach. They're they're literally right there. Um, this is crazy, and uh, it's not going to be getting better. What what solutions are going to be implemented? Is are the rate hikes fixing anything, or are prices still high? Um, it's a joke. It's a joke. Uh, rate hikes are going to cause some bubbles to pop, but the cost of living overall is still going to be much higher. Even after the bubbles pop, even after home prices come down even more, other areas that are seeing rising costs are going to be even worse. And even in deflate, even with deflation in some areas, the housing market, uh, we're still going to be looking at a higher cost of living. In my opinion, things are going to get worse. Continue to stack, continue to prepare everybody. Thanks everybody for being here. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for supporting this channel. A couple quick shout outs here to round this off. Thank you to the following viewers for your support. You are the blood, the lifeblood of this channel. Christopher Quinn, thank you again. Marco Allen, I've seen you there before. Thank you, Marco. Mike S., thank you very much. Maria, again, Maria Rivero, thank you very much. Uh, Sage Wisdom, thank you very much. And Robert Ruiz, thank you all very much. And everyone here that's watching, uh, a super special thanks to those that gave me the super thanks tip with the super thanks button down below. But extra special thanks to them. But thank you to everybody here also for watching, for being here. And please like and subscribe if you like what we talk about. Come back for more news updates. Keep stacking. Stay well. Peace. Um, what's that?